In this video, I'm going to share with you how I learned to pray as a revert to Islam. It includes the steps and methods I used uh, to learn how to pray. And of course, some tips and tricks for new reverts like I was nine years ago. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I've been a revert to Islam for nine years. I embraced Islam nine years ago. I've never looked back and Islam has made my life so much better. And um, I actually take a deep dive in my revert story in this video. So make sure you check it out. But without further ado, let's dive right into this video. Salam, I'm Veronica Adali. I'm a revert to Islam, a founder of a modest activewear brand, a content creator, a wife and a mom. I share my life and business journey as a Muslim woman living in New Zealand. My mission is simple, help Muslim women to embrace modesty and hijab while following their true passion. I create content to boost self-confidence, mindset and lift your spirit so you can successfully balance faith career and motherhood. Subscribe for inspiration, motivation and lots of laughter, all from a Muslim woman's perspective. When I first converted to Islam, the first thing I need to do <laughs> is learn how to pray because praying is one of the five pillars of Islam. I had to learn all the different steps to the five daily prayers and of course, I needed to learn the verses of the Quran because um, I had to pray in Arabic. <laughs> Prayer is a very important part of an Islamic way of life. It's a beautiful act of worship. It reminds us of Allah's presence and keeps us connected to him. But it also helps you self-reflect and keep yourself grounded in your busy life. Like I mentioned, uh, praying five daily prayers is um, a fard, obligatory in Islam, and it, it is one of the five pillars of Islam. A very important part of the prayer is your intention, and I absolutely love that. You need to be very sincere in your intention uh, before you perform this beautiful act of worship and remind yourself that you are doing it for the sake of Allah and Allah alone. So let's take a quick dive into the different daily prayers. The first daily prayer is morning prayer. It's called Fajr and it's performed before the sunrise. The second prayer is called Duhr and it's performed um, around noon. The third prayer is called Asr and it's performed in late afternoon and early evening. The fourth prayer is called Mahrib and it's performed um, after the sunset and before the nightfall. And finally, the fifth daily prayer is called Isha and it's the night prayer and you perform it before you go to bed. All of the daily prayers have very similar rituals to them, but they're all slightly different on to how many rakah you perform. I really want to share with you the benefits of praying five times a day. Of course, the most obvious one, your prayer brings you closer to Allah. You connect with Allah and you ask for forgiveness, for guidance, and for help if you need it. Also, our daily prayers make us feel more connected to our faith uh, because we are always aware of Allah's presence in our lives. And that way we, we remember him all of the time. It also helps us find peace in our heart and it helps us develop some good habits. Uh, it keeps us mindful um, of how we carry ourselves, what we say, and of course, how we spend our time. And overall, when you have your five daily prayers established, it keeps you on the right path in life. So as you can see, the benefits are endless <laughs> and every single revert goes through the period of feeling a little bit overwhelmed just because uh, five daily prayers are performed in, in a very specific way and you say very specific things and 
Arabic. <laughs> so when you're re a new revert who doesn't speak Arabic, um, you have a lot of learning to do and it might feel very overwhelming, but I have some tips to share with you and give you an insight on how I learned how to pray um, nine years ago. So to make this experience um, feel a little bit less overwhelming uh, because I know I've been there. Um, I honestly thought I would never get it, uh, but with enough persistence and consistency, you will get, get there, even though it might feel um, like you're on a struggle bus. But first of all, take advantage of Google. <laughs> or I don't know, if you had a brochure that you got in your local mosque on how to pray, take advantage of that. I personally went to YouTube and I watched a lot of videos that explained very clearly on how to pray. And I also had a brochure. I don't even have it anymore. I think I think it got lost when we were moving the house. I don't think I have it anymore, so I can't show you. But I had a brochure uh, with kids. <laughs> it's, it was made for kids um, to show them how to pray. And it was exactly what I needed. It showed you what you need to say, uh, what poses you need to do, um, how to prostrate properly the order of events in the prayer, it, it had it all. And I would pray looking at the brochure <laughs> and that helped a lot. Um, and it's okay if you have to do that at the very beginning, you got to do what you got to do to perform your daily prayers to the best of your ability. You can also, when you're doing the research and you're trying to figure out the steps, you can make your own cue cards. I know a few reverts who've done that. They would make cue cards and they put it around their prayer mat <laughs> and they would follow the steps um, as they get through their prayer. I think that's a very, very effective way. You can also purchase my Salah mat. And yeah, this video is not sponsored. I'm just aware of them and I would probably get it for my kids in the future, inshallah. But the reverts, they would love that. I wish this was around when I was learning how to pray because it just makes the entire experience so much easier to understand. So there is that tool here. I'm going to link them in the description below as well so you can check them out. So in order for you to understand the process of your prayer, you need to know all the steps, all the positions and um, everything you need to say. Um, and of course, that's just that just comes with practice. But once you understand that, it makes it so much easier to rinse and repeat. <laughs> Before we um, start praying, we need to perform wudu. Wudu is um, a process, a ritual uh, that um, allows Muslims to cleanse themselves and purify themselves before they begin their prayer. The ritual involves uh, the washing of hands, face, nose, mouth, <laughs> arms, head, and your feet with water. After completing wudu, you will feel refreshed and ready for your prayer. It's in a way of kind of washing away. For me personally, it's ingenious, honestly. Whenever I perform wudu, um, it just helps me wash away all of my worry. And I start my prayer with a clean slate. And of course, it also helps to keep ourselves clean <laughs> when we wash our hands, wash our feet. <laughs> we wash our feet five, time, five times a day. That definitely keeps you nice and clean. And that's a bonus <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Another tip, I would, I would recommend praying with Muslims who already know how to pray as much as you can. Um, for me, I got married very quickly after converting to Islam. So my husband taught me a lot. I would pray with him and that definitely helped me to learn all the steps and establish a solid routine when it comes to praying. Um, it's just, it's just easier to follow somebody. Um, 
and learn how to pray that way. I personally love praying in congregation because it's even more powerful than praying alone. You feel this connection with um, and unity with your fellow Muslims and it's absolutely beautiful. Also, if you feel a little bit overwhelmed by um, establishing your five daily prayers, it's okay to take it uh, step by step with the right intention, of course. Uh, start by, you know, performing one prayer. Um, a lot of the times people start with their nighttime prayer uh, because that's it, the easiest one to perform you are in the comfort of your own home. Um, you know, you don't have to pray in the middle of the day. You might be at work or at uni. Um, it's the easiest one to perform, the night prayer. Um, you just perform it right before you go to bed. Once you establish that, you can add the evening prayer and then the afternoon and the noon prayer. And then you can always um, add the Fajr, the morning prayer. Um, and you just add them one by one until you feel like you can perform them all, uh, but it really requires a lot of focus and a lot of intentional action. Um, Cause yes, it, it's definitely very hard um, to, uh, like especially if you live in the Western society, you go to uni, um, you work, um, you have to, you know, ask for a break and you have to talk to your supervisor or your boss um, about, you know, you praying and trying to find a room and taking voodoo in public bathrooms. Like, <laughs> it, I understand it can be overwhelming and stressful. Um, so definitely take a step by step with the right intention. Um, inshallah, you get there. Uh, but start with really getting your obligatory prayers down, your all of your fart prayers. As soon as you get those down, you can add sunnah prayers on top of them, but focus on getting all the obligatory prayers in and establishing a solid routine that way. And of course, consistency. Staying consistent is so important. And even though I know it can be hard with our busy lives and we always have excuses, that's just how we're wired. Uh, but trust me, um, consistency will help you make your prayers a routine. And that's what you want. You want to stick into it for long enough for it to become a habit and a very, very good habit to have. Praying five daily prayers is an important part of Islam and it's something that every Muslim must do. I know that at some point we all struggle with prayer. I struggle with prayer at multiple points in my life um, but uh, just because we are all flawed humans um, the point is we always need to come back to it. We always need to think of Allah and we always need to make an effort and make it our priority to come back to Allah and perform our daily prayers. The best way for you to stay um, consistent with your daily prayers is to make them a part of your routine, plan for them, put them in your calendar and think about where you'll be that particular part of the day and what you can do, what's in your power <laughs> to do to make sure you get that prayer in. As soon as you start organizing your life around your prayers rather than prayers around your life, um, that's that'll be a game changer. As soon as you start your day with looking when and where you need to pray, that that's intention. And that's solid. As soon as you make that intention and then you show up for your daily prayers and you tick them off as you go because you plan for them, there you go. You're on your way to making a prayer a solid part of your life. And trust me, as soon as you establish those prayers, you will feel, you will feel the benefits in your day-to-day -day life. And the benefits are endless, alhamdulillah. The prayers will definitely bring you peace, tranquility and happiness to your life. <laughs> I really hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up, comment below, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to 
my channel if you want me to create more content about prayers or if you have any questions about our five daily prayers i'm happy to continue the conversation in the comments and maybe in other videos in the future inshallah but thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you later